hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding Odoo external API so in the previous video we have successfully learned how to authenticate Odoo and how to perform search and how to perform read operation in Odoo database from external application now in this video we will be discussing about a method called search read which is a combination of search and read so if you watch the previous video if I go to the script which we have written here you can see we are performing first the search method by this one you can see models dot execute kw then I'm using or performing the search then as a result of search method I'll be getting IDs IDs of records then these IDs is passed to the read method to get the data from the database so actually it's two steps that is i have to search which returns the ids that is database ids then i have to pass these ids to next method that is read method to get the final result so to avoid this or to shorten this we have an another method called search read which performs these steps single so if i go to the odoo documentation so here we have odoo external api documentation search and read because it is a very common task odoo provides a search read shortcut as it, its name suggests it's equivalent to search followed by a read but avoid having to perform two requests and keep ids around so as and i have explained it's a combination of two requests to make it as a single request so let's see how we can do that so here we have a sample so let me copy that python sample and i'll put it inside my python file this is sublime editor and i'll put it here what i'll do i'll add a comment that is search read search read and i'll paste the code which i have copied so i'll put it in the next line and here you can see models dot execute kw db your id password which holds my details and i'm going to perform operation in rs dot partner model search read and here we can if you have some domain filtration you can pass your domain here like this this is company 20 to read only records where is company is marked as true if you don't have any domain you can just leave it as empty so currently i'll keep this domain control z then i have to specify which all fields i need to read from the database so if you didn't specify all the fields in this model or the specified model will be returned and the response will be heavy so here i'll specify i need to get id of the record and value from name field and i'll remove the comment and if you have limit you can pass like this so i'll currently i'll remove the limit so this is the code and let me move it to last line itself so let me take it to a variable partner rec2 and i'll move this print statement here and i'll print partner rector which is the result that i'm getting from this method so i'll save this and i'll go to terminal and i'll trigger this python script so python is external api which is my file name and if i run this you can see i'm getting the result partner rec2 will contain all the records which matches the provided domain which is is company true we have around you can see partner we have around 11 records and the result is as follows if you go to the Odoo database so this is the database which i'm trying to connect from my python script and you can see id 10 id 10 name is deco addict id 11 germany furniture id 15 lumper inc 44 Odoo, 43 Odoo mates 41 Odoo mates 12 ready -made. so we have successfully searched and get a result from Odoo database so this is the search read method in Odoo so I hope you understood this method and if you are from different application maybe running on Ruby or a website running on PHP or Java you can refer these codes and you will have samples here as well as the result is also 
described or shown in the Urdu documentation. So I hope you understood this video. If you have any doubts, feel free to ask directly under the video and we will be trying to replying you as soon as possible. So that's it for the day. Have a nice day. Thank you.